Hey friends, welcome. Today, under the heading of quantum chemistry, we will be discussing uh, the time-dependent Schrodinger wave equation. And uh, this relationship we have seen in, I think, seventh postulate of uh, quantum uh, mechanics. Uh, so, the time-dependent uh, wave function uh, that is for any particular say matter wave, uh, the time sub we know that psi is the wave function, and uh, the time-dependent one-dimensional wave function. For uh, any particular part matter wave uh, over here, I am not writing uh, the position and time dependence. Okay, it is understood. So uh, the time dependent wave function for any particular material uh, particle wave, uh, it is given by psi is equal to a e raised to minus iota. And we have omega t minus k x. So this is the value of the time dependent uh, wave function and we are know that this wave function it possesses or it gives us all the information about a particular wave over here uh, a basically it is the amplitude of the wave and uh, for a particular wave amplitude is constant i over here or iota basically it is an um, imaginary number omega is the angular velocity over here and uh, omega could be written as 2 pi mu where uh, mu again will be the frequency k is the propagation constant or uh, uh, it will be also known as uh, angular wave number and the value of k is given by 2 pi by lambda further uh, we will be modifying both these uh, relationships we know that from uh, einstein's expression we know that e is equal to h mu so the uh, value of mu it could be written as e by h also for the wavelength we are very much familiar with uh, de broglie's uh, relationship that is uh, that is lambda is equal to h by p where h is the planck's constant and p is the momentum over here so this also we could be substituting over here and this a value of mu also we could substitute over here so ultimately the expressions uh, that is omega will be equal to 2 pi we will have e by h and the value of k it will be uh, so denominator of a denominator will be numerator so we will have 2 pi p by H. Okay, so these are the two values of omega and k respectively. So that we will be substituting in this expression over here, and we will have psi is equal to a e raised to minus i. We will have two pi e t by h minus. 2 pi px by h and uh, we could take 2 pi h 2 pi h common from both the terms and hence we will have psi is equal to a e raised to minus iota 2 pi h into uh, the first term will be left is e minus t minus px okay this is the expression further we know that h is Planck's constant and h upon 2 pi we could write it as h cut so this h or this 2 pi could be taken in the denominator and we will have h upon 2 pi and this will be written as h cut so the value of psi will become a e raised to minus iota by h cut et minus Okay, so this is the value of our wave function. Now further, we will be differentiating this wave function with respect to time once and with respect to position twice. So first, uh, suppose this is our equation number one. So uh, we will be differentiating equation number one with respect to time first. Uh, so when we differentiate it, we will have d psi by dt that will be equal to uh, so the differentiation of uh, this term 
uh, we know that differentiation of e raised to uh, anything will be a into e raised to x this a is constant so this will remain as this and then we need to differentiate this over here both the terms are constant so this will be 0 and over differentiation of t will be 1 so we will be left with only e and hence the value will be minus iota e by h cut a e raised to minus iota by h cut et minus yes. okay and again this much is equal to psi so we could substitute that equal to psi so we have d psi by dt is equal to minus iota e by h cut into psi okay uh, further uh, we will rearrange this expression in the form of e psi and hence uh, both the negative sign as well as all these terms we can take right hand side so we have e psi is equal to minus h cut iota d psi by dt okay so further uh, what we could do is uh, i will multiply and divide this expression with iota so this will be iota square and we know that iota square is equal to minus 1 so this will be minus 1 and we will have minus minus plus so our expression will become e psi is equal to h cut iota d psi by d okay so this uh, suppose is our equation number 2 we will again differentiate our equation number 1 or we will double differentiate our equation number 1 with respect to the position x double differentiate our equation number 1 with respect to the position x and when we double differentiate it we will have d square psi by dx square uh, will be equal to uh, we will have iota p by h cut whole square into a e raised to minus iota h cut e t minus p s so this will be the expression uh, because over here uh, this term will be constant uh, so we will have p uh, for both the times and minus minus this will become plus okay so uh, as a result we will have minus sorry iota p by h cut square and this much we all again know it and this is equal to the wave function psi so our expression will become d square psi by dx square is equal to also uh, we have iota square and iota square is equal to minus 1 so this we could write it as minus p square by h cut square into psi okay now uh, further this could be uh, rearranged in the terms of uh, p square psi so we will have p square psi is equal to minus h cut square b square psi by dx square so this is our equation number 3 okay the total energy of the any particular system is equal to its uh, kinetic energy plus its potential energy so we could write the total energy e is equal to kinetic energy is half mv square and potential energy it could be represented by v uh, this half mv square i could multiply and divide by m so this will be and m square v square is equal to the momentum p so we will have p square by 2m plus v and this is equal to uh, the energy e i will be multiplying now whole equation with psi so we will be multiply whole equation with psi so when we multiply whole equation with psi our expression will become e psi is equal to 
p square psi by 2m plus v psi. Okay, we have the value of e psi as well as we have the value of p square psi. So e psi we have h cut iota d psi by dt and the value of uh, p square psi is minus h cut square d square psi by dx square. So both the values uh, could be substituted in this expression and we will have h cut iota d psi by dt is equal to minus h cut square 2m d square psi by dx square plus v psi and further we know that h cut square minus h cut square by 2m d square psi by dx square plus v psi this is our Hermitian operator and this could be written as h cap so if we take psi common out then minus h cut square by 2m d square by dx square plus v so this will be our Hermitian operator h cap and hence we will have or hence we could write h cap hence we could write h cap psi is equal to h cap uh, sorry h cut iota d psi by dt and this is the famous celebrated time dependent Schrodinger wave equation Schrodinger wave so this is the famous time dependent Schrodinger wave equation for one dimension if it would be for three dimensions so over here we would have d square psi by dx square d square psi by dy square d square psi by dz square uh, respectively and uh, this is one of the methods with the help of which we could derive the time independent Schrodinger wave equation there are several other ways also uh, through which we could derive the uh, Schrodinger time, de time dependent Schrodinger wave equation but this is one of the most simplest method with the help of which we could uh, obtain the value of the time dependent uh, Schrodinger wave equation hope the derivation was clear. Thank you very much.